This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Jaws Lock. It's a relatively unusual item. This one's branded True Value, but if we turn it over, we can see it's made by Hampton, which is the parent company of Brinks. What makes this lock so unusual? Well, it is the only padlock I own that does not have any shackle. I'm not talking about hidden shackle or shrouded shackle locks. I mean no shackle. Let me show you how it works. When we turn this five pin key, a cast block pops out of the top. And if we turn it over, we can see that cast block is the upper of two jaws that are designed to clamp around a post. So presumably you open it up, you place the post in the back hole, close it up, and the lock isn't going anywhere. So what's the post this is supposed to clamp onto? Well, here's the hasp this lock comes with. Looks like most other hasps, with the exception of this portion, which rather than having a U-bolt, has this steel post. So to use this lock, we open it up, place it over that post, and lock it. I think it's probably a pretty good idea, considering the fact that one of the largest weaknesses in most padlocks is the hasp, and people defeat padlocks by cutting those hasps, here, we don't have a problem with that. This is probably why they built it when it came out as the ultimate development in padlock security. Well, whether you believe that or not, here we are 25 years later from when this lock came out and we don't see them anymore. Why is that? Well, I don't know for sure, but I have a couple theories. The first is this isn't a very versatile padlock. Who wants a padlock that you can only use on one hasp? And second, the execution of this lock, it's not so great. A padlock's only as good as its weakest link, and for this particular lock, that weak link appears to be the core. Let's try to pick this guy open. I'm using a 32 thousandths pry bar and this Southward Max standard hook. Okay, one's loose. Click out of two, three's loose, four's loose. Back to one, gotta click out of him. Two's still set. Click out of three, click out of four, and we are open. So we have four pins, no security pins. In short, a really, really easy lock to open. So this JAWS lock, while it's pretty nice in theory, the execution really could have used a lot of work. I would gut this for you, but I know of no way to take this apart. I'm presuming the insides are pinned in place somewhere underneath the epoxy coating on this lock, so we will not be gutting this. That's all I have for you on this True Value JAWS lock. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.